Hi, and welcome back. We're gonna continue our conversation around four parts of a file. In this video, we're gonna focus around the contract. So before we move forward here, I do wanna throw in a disclaimer. I'm not an attorney. I'm not giving out legal advice here. So if there's anything you're gonna to wanna to implement from this video, make sure to discuss that with your attorney before doing so. When it comes to a contract and needing it for a file, I basically get two questions from the contractors. Why do I need it for supplementing? And is there anything supplement specific that I should include in my contract? Let's tackle that first question. Why do I need it for supplementing? Honestly, you want to have a contract with the homeowner before you invest any time or energy into a project. You wanna make sure it's live and that you're gonna get paid for the work that you do. Secondly, it gives the insurance company the knowledge that you're the preferred contractor and that you're the one gonna be doing the work. The second question as far as what should we include in there, if anything, honestly, I've seen two things that really are beneficial in a contract when it comes to supplement. The first one would be a section discussing the supplement itself. So most contracts will have a price, whether you're doing it for a retail price or per insurance proceeds, but you want a section discussing the supplement itself that it can add to that contract price. The second part is permission. You wanna make sure there's a section with the homeowner giving you, the contractor, permission to speak to their adjuster and vice versa. You want the adjuster to have permission to speak to you. Not only does this help through the supplementing process, it also helps when it comes to, at the very end of everything, you guys have an agreement in getting a copy of that insurance paperwork. Quite often, we come to an agreement with an adjuster and they say, hey, I'd love to send this to you. I simply don't have the permission to do so. This will help you be more efficient and speed up the supplementing process. Stay tuned for upcoming videos on tools required for documenting a loss, how to document a loss, and what key photos do you need to help you supplement successfully. We'll see you there.